What is it, Tails? You got something? I oh, got something oh, that's... from the professor. Oh, that's I think right. He came up with something after reading more of the And then somebody, j- and then somebody just throws a boot at, and then, and then some, then somebody from one of the houses just throws a boot at him. It is three in the morning. Will you anyway. climb it up? Anyway, okay. we were talking. Anyway, we were talking about in the last part about Night of the Werehog. This is what was. This is what heavily inspired Night of the Werehog. An uncanny ah. camera. Wait. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. It's a dance party. Look at that. And everyone's oh, all. Amy. Oh, Amy. <laughs> everyone's like, you know, out of their minds. Hey, wait a minute. You don't sound like you did that earlier. Well, They're all going nuts. Let's take a picture. Parties. Something's not right here. If you take the uncanny camera and snap a picture of them with them spirits. Oh boy. They were possessed by dark Gaia beings. Well now. And Amy's just do, do, keeping do. on spinning. Chip, now's not time to be a tourist. Anyway. And uh, so yeah, take into account all those all those flashes that Chip's doing, cause uh yeah. That ain't gonna last. That's so all that film's gone to waste. So yeah. We're gonna head on in there, and the ult. So this is this just unlocks a side quest thing that you can use to like get some extra experience or again achievements or whatever. Uh, like, and I do, and I will use it eventually. Remember that guy we saw back in uh, 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 Apatos, Apatos, yeah, where he was all man. like, you know, yeah, basically he too was affected by this whole phenomenon. Which is where you can use the dark. Which is where you can use the uncanny camera to snap a picture. And again, primarily you do this if you just want like a few extra bits of experience. Which, yeah, yeah that's there's really cool. no other reason to do this this whole thing aside from tis that. A, tis a pittance. You're saved, you dumb scholarly students. I've been at him, little girl. Hmm? Who said that? Hey, you- go away! I gotta go! Hey, um, uh, hi, my name is Iggy. I'll be right back. <laughs> I was hiding in the bushes this entire time. I'm not in any... it. I was about to say, there aren't even any bushes there. I'm fully aware. <laughs> I'm not into the, that hip dancing craze that all the kids are doing these days, and I always knew that they, it was all some sort of evil spell. And I can also say, looking at these cutscenes, they really did a better job with the mocap. Yeah. They oh, did. yeah. Well, the... They only applied it to the humans. Like the Sonic characters, I think are still traditionally animated. Which thank yeah. goodness, because it just it doesn't it doesn't work. And I'm looking back at Sonic Adventure two in particular and Sonic 06, Like I well, can't. Well, two I'm willing to give slack because it was like their very first time doing it. 06, they had no excuse. I can't shake. Whenever I watch 06 footage, I can't shake the image in my head of a guy wearing a Sonic suit, acting out the things like he's doing like a little children's show. Yeah. <laughs> this sounds like, like a job for Sonic oh, Man. Oh god, I forgot about Sonic Man. Why, why couldn't it have been Sonic Man that hooked up with Elise instead of Sonic himself? Uh, I abso- I we don't talk about that. I absolutely would have loved if that was a plot twist where she's like, oh, you're, like Sonic's like, like maybe that was the whole plot was that yeah, Sir Sonic cared about Elise, but same with Amy. He can't be he can't be bothered to be. Oh, I don't have the air boost Ooh. yet. Ah, uh, not yet. Uh, Sonic can't be Sonic can't be bothered to be tied down to one particular place while doing all the you know the running free stuff. So he somehow so he manages to hook him. Wait, I saw Hook-em that. Wait. What did you see? Oh, another Sonic. There you oh, go. clever boy. Yeah, there was many again. Yeah, many on the GTA because the because the requir because the requirement to get and play all the sun levels is obnoxious. Yes, it is. Yep. And as you saw there, heads up, we're going to Halaska, and we got ice physics. Oh cool dear. I think this was I think this was exclusive to the PS3. No, it's not. This no, is no. both versions. Yeah, it's in okay. both versions. All right. And what's funny That's is right, that like it's, the, it, it's I do Missouri know were... and Liberty City. I was about to say, I do know, like, structurally, they're also quite a bit different. Like, for example, in the Wii version, you got to do a lot more platforming in the cave areas. Oh, yeah. Wasn't the, wasn't the Wii most, version mostly just cave sections? Well, still, it's def- something different than, from this version. It yeah. helps cut out It helps cut out all the draw distance of these grand frozen wastelands. You know, how much we're, how much we're talking, we've been talking about the Wii version, we may as well show it off at some point. I'm alright with you guys if you want to do like a look at of it. I'll, I'll look into it. Okay. But 
No need. I would say though, no need doing a full contract because the plot is yeah, still the same. No. Yeah. Just, just a look at. It, it'll be fine. I'd say just only show off like whatever levels you think are worth showing off on that movie. Yeah, Ow. like at least one daytime Ouch. stage and one nighttime stage if possible. Right. Ooh, oh, tobogganing. Oh, okay. and, and wasn't it you guys? It was you guys who mentioned that uh, unlike in the HD version, uh, the unweashed. Unleashed copy, uh, all the boots are given to you from the get-go. Oh yeah, all yeah. the upgrades yes. are given to you right away. Man, that would've been nice. But again, there are still some Ooh. parts of the Unleashed edition that I almost think would've, it would've improved this version had they implemented that. I agree. You know, when you really stop and think about it, almost do in some aspects, it almost do does sound like the HD version kind of suffers the same issue of Rodea in that the Wii version, the Wii U version, tried to, you know, overcomplicate things that were just already implemented right from the get-go. Yeah, again, that kind of goes into my whole yeah. argument about, like, just... for all the good that's in the HD version, I think it's ultimately oh. very overbloated. Yeah, I, I agree. Ooh. I do still I do still love the town stages. I do still love the graphical fidelity things. I, oh geez, yep. Here's where you want to keep boosting. If you run out of ring energy on the water, you're sunk. Oh dear. Uh-oh. Oh, keep oh moving, Keep moving. I, yeah, that's the case where the boost is very, very helpful. Yep, and this is why you want to re level. This is why you do want to keep an eye on leveling up your oh, ring whale. energy so that you always have a good enough. And thank you, Mr. Oh. Whale. You're welcome. Oh no! Oh, it looked like he was about to eat him. <laughs> oh, just jumps up. No, he was just I smiling just up at us. I just can't catch a break with whales, can I? Hey, at the very Maybe. least, a, at nope. the very least, a regular whale is, is at least friendly towards Sonic, unlike the goddamn orcas. Why okay, would they all that's what so many? They're so well, they're aggressive. Both whales anyway. Yeah. They're oh, killer whales. Well, I thought killer whales were orcas. They are. No, killer whales are like they are meat eaters or whatever. Like, well, all, technically all whales are meat eaters. Just depends on how much meat they eat. Thank you. I thought I thought whales only eat stuff like krill and plankton. Uh, no, I, orcas can eat seals. You know what? I'm gonna scary. look this up because you got me in a mood. Whale. Like I'm not gonna lie, you saying they can eat seals, but that's kind of scary. They can. No, no, they do. It's a, or some of them maybe see. They, I know. So I know orcas eat penguins. That's also scary. They're big. They're massive, and they have teeth. <laughs> they're big and they have teeth. Why what do you think, what do you else think would Monster was made the way he was? Yeah, Monster was a massive whale who ate men and ships. The ships, were high, the ships were way too high in fiber, but the men he ate were very high in protein. Oh, I missed it. Ah. Careful, careful. Mm. Nice. But, yeah, other than that... Thank you. Oh, 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 Well, Sonic went off course. Oh, oh yeah, geez. Some of the physics were not made with this in mind, but yeah, still... I said it again, we'll say it every single time we get to these. Daytime stages are easily my favorite, and like we said earlier, I understand, like, Sega, not Sonic Team, not wanting this to be over too soon, but I, I honestly think one of my favorite bits of the daytime stages is how it, how easy it is for me to just, you know, pick up and play and just play a couple levels, and it's really fun to just, you know, experience those, like, short bursts of adrenaline. Like, real talk? Yay. All they would really, nice. like, I wouldn't, like, they could have just gotten rid of all the nighttime crap. And just added in like maybe two or three more daytime levels, and you'd, it'd be perfect. Oh you know, no, I'd love this. That's why. That's why it works so well in generations. You know what's kind of funny is that like I wouldn't even say just that. Is that I know I remember like well before the game released, there were like rumors of like certain characters appearing. Like I think a really popular rumor was that that apparently Knuckles and Shadow would have appeared. Honestly, and I'm sure there are some people that would think this. Why not let Knuckles handle these beam up levels? I mean, yeah. there is that. Oh, hey, that is very true. At the same time, though, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't still decry from the fact that, well, as far as Sonic is concerned, like, well, Sonic series stuff is concerned. Yeah, it doesn't really need. It doesn't really need gameplay like that. Well, I hey, feel like it, Amy knows this now. I feel like it at Yay! least be easier for people that. I feel like it at least be easier for people that die just than Sonic turning into a double damn werewolf hog. Yeah. Again, we can talk about say they they do offer an explanation as to why he turns into the werehog. They but, do, uh, and, I'm, I'm and it is something about, I accept. I'm not even talking about explanation. I just mean the idea in general. Oh, I mean even still, I wouldn't. We've already brought this up before. I wouldn't have even mind if they kept the werehog stuff. If they made, if it's still, if the gameplay was still something closer to how Sonic is, like it doesn't have to be like super ultra fast, but you know. What I know, it's kind of a popular misconception that Sonic is always like his biggest strength is always in his speed. In reality, it's both that along with a sense of flow. And there are games where he does get super insanely fast, but 
there's a lot of stuff that can really break that flow, and that's why the game ends up being a kind of a disaster as a result. Well, that's mm -hmm. also kind of like the challenge in some of the games. Like, the challenge is to try to maintain that flow, and I think games like... Well, the classic series kind of does that, but I think games that, like, really focus on it and award your sense of keeping that flow are stuff like uh, like Rush, Generations, and to an extent this. Honestly, it's stuff like that why, you know, we got such, got got, uh, got other types of Sonic S games that I think do the whole flow, flow thing better, like with Freedom Planet, for example. Yeah, mm. Freedom Planet, and... Which, any word on the sequel, by the way? Mm, not entirely, no. I mean, they're... they're uh, the creator of the game does still bring out blurbs every now and again on the game's progress, but we still don't have, like, a definitive release date for the game. Is it Rats. wrong that I forgot that they were actually making a sequel? Everybody it's, did. It's like, well, kind of like at the PlayStation thing earlier today, it's like, I forgot about Soulstorm. Uh, I still forgot about, uh, I, oh, cool, we're going to Chunan. Oh, I still, I, I still yeah. forgot about, uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2. A lot of games have been kind of just pushed to the side and, oh, Wait, geez, Beyond the grandfather. Was that the thing? Grandfather and or grandfather, aka the village's like elder, has gone missing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also speaking of things kind of cop, pop, cropping up out of nowhere, James, I just got an email that they finally shipped out my physical copy of Wonderful 101 on Switch. Oh, huh. finally! Oh, nice! Yay! Can't wait. I kind of put it off, and even though they gave me a Steam key, I was like, no, I want to play it on Switch, and I'm Jeez. I'm so curious to give it a shot. It looked fun. It is. It, it is still not as good good as you'd hope, but despite the occasional bits of um. You know, ambition kind of get in the way of actual good gameplay. Yeah, that, that's that's the main reason why I kind of got turned off from it when I Whoa. tried the Wii U demo. It's very gimmicky. It, there, it, it can be gimmicky at times, yes. Oh, well. And this is coming from someone that actually doesn't oh, mind which controls me. most of the time. I only regret that I am not able to give the two of you a proper welcome. What what what's wrong? wrong? What's wrong, you little Yoda? Well, you see, mm -hmm. our villager's most precious something is missing. Okay, village yeah, a, pre a precious what? object. Yeah, yeah, a precious object went missing. The village elder took it, and now we gotta we go, go search for it. We would, ramps. but lurking outside the village, monsters are. It's just the face. The face <laughs> looks like Yoda. The, 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 if I, if I took this face in Photoshop and green and made it green, you would think it looked like Yoda. Yeah, Actually, I, I, you, you're not wrong, honestly. Pass down for ages, this good luck charm. Actually, <laughs> shit, I just remembered something. Um, the the uh, main designer for a good handful of these human desi designs is actually an artist I watch on Twitter, uh, Puri Hiru. Oh, yeah, the, huh. they're really good. Like, they're actually the artists that did um, the comics based on the, the comics that served as, like, an epilogue for the first Avatar series, you know, like The Search and whatnot. Uh, the, he's also Ooh. very prominent in the Marvel scene, as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, he he's the, he did a couple. Uh, he did some of Squirrel Girl, you know, that the ones that have art that actually look good outside of that. Yes, thank thing. you. I was very disappointed when I saw those covers, <laughs> and I thought this is gonna be really cool, and then it just looked it, it gross. I think he also I think he also did a couple of things for uh, Gwenpool as well. Yeah, he. I think oh, they yeah, were the main artists well. for Gwenpool, and honestly, his art is half the reason people tolerate Gwenpool. It, it's all. It's all about an art style. It's why the Shira thing did so well, whereas the Thundercats well, the maybe not so much. Honestly, even with Shira, it just kind of. I look at Shira and I watch some of the episodes. Well, not episodes. I see some of the clips Air of Shira. Boost. Oh, but yeah, this is where you get the light speed dash. Yeah, anyway, fun fact. Like yeah, fun fact. Just sorry, I gotta put this. I gotta throw this out there for continuity errors. Yeah, fun fact. Uh, classic Sonic was just BS in it. You don't learn how to do an air boost. You just pick up the right shoes and then you can do it. <laughs> yeah, and actually, another thing I will also say, uh, this ability right here is part of the reason why a lot of people hate the fact that doing the homing attack requires using the boost button. Thank you. They should have, which is why I'm glad that they fixed it in Generations. I believe in Generations, it's again just jump and Egg jump again. again. It wasn't even it wasn't even a problem with like the Wii version of Sonic Unleashed. It was it's a problem that was only exclusive to this HD game. Yes, yeah. in this game, the homie attack you push the same yeah, and the air boot you will. I I will say I probably died like two to th like seven times strictly because I dashed when I was trying to homing attack. And I went right past them. Oh, hang oh, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it goes. Grab this, and... Wee! Or, or if you anyway. accidentally do it wrong, if you pull back too far, you'll be like... Ah! 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 Snaps and <laughs> hits you on the back. Or the head. 
Or the head. Yeah, because, like, uh, there was a, a later comic that uh, I dubbed with my friend Nathan as the Sonic Unleashed one. He tries to he tries to go across with a pole, but he just keeps failing. Like, it hits him in the face, and then, like, you know, it hits him in the head, and then at, at, at one point he just can't take it anymore. He's like, ah, I can't lose like this! I will! And then he falls into the water, and then Chip's just uh, playing cards with the dark guy as Spawn's going like, we got any sevens? It's one of my favorite uh, bits from from uh, Tangled is when she uh, they're at the uh, the little duckling or whatever and mm -hmm. she slams that uh, pan or whatever the stick or whatever onto the one dude or no like she like pulled something to like you know make it like flip and like bonk into the dude's head and you just see his body like 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 recoil and then yeah. doesn't move till he just turns around and like oh she done fucked him oh I'm so sorry. Mm! Sentinel, oh, no, please! Don't you, okay, no, this all right, is the I'll internet. Sentinel. They It'll thirst for that. You know that. Yes, nobody but I have will a have... reputation to hold up! Not nobody you, will <laughs> Nobody will know that you just nobody will know that you just said she chipped up because you don't like chip that much. Nobody will never know. <laughs> I never said I didn't like chip that much. It's just the I know. Actually, I okay, I guess I I, I actually have to say well, I'm curious. Who voices him in English? I'm um, in English, um, Tony, the uh, hang on. I know it's Tony something. Give me a second. Yeah. Rosado. No. <laughs> I was about to say Rosado, but I don't think. It's no, that. it's yeah, I, I doubt it. I, I doubt it. I mean, again, it's still hilarious to me that 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 guy, you know, back when he was still alive, God rest his soul, he voiced Nemesis alongside Nemesis. Mama Luigi. Okay, I found it. Um, yeah. Uh, Tony Salerno. 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 I don't. Is it is it is it bad that I actually don't? It's bad that I don't recognize him from anything else beyond this. Uh, I do know he's a four kids actor. Um, oh. He's usually credited as Chris Thorndike. Yeah. No, no. no. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say then it would make sense, but no. Well, anyway. I was about to say Chris yeah, ain't that deep. I was about to say True. he is a he is a recurring four kids actor. Um, the only other thing I think you might I assume you might recognize he was the f he was the guy that they got to fill in for. Um, 80s Donatello in Turtles Forever. Oh, okay. And he sounded exactly like Chip. I was say it worked. Oh, okay. But did 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 it work for you? Because I I never watched the 80s TMNT. Um, some of them worked better than others. Like the guys that they got for Raph and hey, that's the, probably the right. That's probably the wrong way. To, it, it's always the, it's always what you have to do with these adventure games. Go the wrong way first because yeah, the wrong like, way has goodies. I was yep. about to say just going back to that like. It's really half and half for me, cause I think the guy that I think the guys that they got for Raph and Mikey and Splinter and April and Krang, they were really spot on. Shredder is pretty good too, but he kind of wavers here and there. Leo sounded nothing like he did in the '80s show, cause it was Oof. Dan Green and very obviously oh. Dan Green. Oh, oh, jeez. Wait. wait, no, wait, no. Leo's not supposed to be all deep voiced. Well, it depends on the iteration, but compared to the '80s show, yeah, it's night and day. Okay, can I, can I just comment real quick? I I noticed a couple times that Sonic's just like kicking rapidly with his feet. It looks like he's like you know dancing, like you know what I mean, like. He's dancing the he's dancing the Irish jig. Oh, I'm sorry. This move. I'm sorry. What? I just now that you mentioned that, I almost forgot. It's still Irish. The Hedgehog is canon. Oh God, you're right. Oh yeah, that is right. They did create Irish the Hedgehog. <laughs> a little late. I know it's a little late to bring that up, but yeah, I wish the hedgehog. He's not canon until them. he appears in the game. Fair That's enough. just them being silly. They they have they that I I forgot who I forgot who the man is behind the Twitter like Jackson the name. Jack. No no no. Okay, I think they're talking about like the song. Oh Twitter. oh um oh Aaron Weber. Yeah, that yeah. dude like has so much fun, and and he either he has so much fun and or. Sonic Team really lets him get away with a lot because I because again we've talked about this part of what both? makes it too part of what makes it so fun is how like self-aware self -aware and here's the thing like the reason why Sonic Forces for many didn't work is because it takes itself so seriously mm. Lost World Lost World Colors especially Colors these games didn't take themselves so seriously that's why they worked as Sonic I mean, because Lost they knew World, when Lost World like, kind of borderline but otherwise yeah, I was about to yeah. Yeah, I was about to say some people argue that Lost World should have took itself more seriously. But like, but I don't know. But like, you, you see, but, but like, okay, 
maybe even more. So, okay, definitely colors. Mm-hmm. Colors. Yeah. Color, yeah. I guess generations to an extent. The generations here and there. Yeah. Um, but like they didn't take themselves all. Oh, I hate that. Into the, way. Into the, yeah. water. the camera Honestly. shifting. Yeah. Yeah. Fortunately, mm-hmm. fortunately, even though I, fortunately, any medallions you collect in a level, uh, is automatically saved no matter okay, what. Okay, good. So, Which is good. good. Just, I, I do hate that so much, though, because the fact because of the fact that you know, water is pretty much a pretty much a one hit death for Sonic, and it's dun, 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 way dun, 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 too close for comfort. It's always very close, and like what just happened there was the camera shifted while I was holding down the direction, so it made me arc when I was not meaning to arc. It's the oh, Resident, it's it the Resident Evil, it's the classic Resident Evil problem all over again. Thank you. I don't, I don't agree with fixed cameras like this. It just, it, I, I should have camera control. Camera control makes things so much better. That's why I like Paper Ball, because it, it, was, it was Monkey Ball with camera control. Mm. Light him up. Uh, oh, well, I should have read this beforehand. So that that Eggman drone was electrified. So when I threw him very close to the water, it electrified everything. And what's wrong? What's up? It, it's a, it's a very lovely waterfall, I mean, Sega. You put I'm... a lot of effort into it, but oh, there's a movement. It, it, it is pretty. I'll give it that. Though it's also okay. with parts like this where I kind of wish Sonic's platforming controls were a little more tight were a little Oof. tighter yes but again everything's safe so let's keep going i'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, i'm so sorry but every time i just see sonic drowning in the water with that scream i'm just like Ugh. and now i'm just imagining in my head you know if he were to take a shower and he'd scream like that ah! <laughs> so it, 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 it would literally turn it it would literally turn into the bowser death scene from new super mario brothers all over again but with sonic oh, Jeez, that is still, uh... I'll still agree with Game Grumps. Uh, who, Jason, like, must have, like, really needed a breather after recording that scream. That's like a Dragon Ball-level scream. Yeah. yeah! Oh my god! Was. I don't think, I don't think I've ever heard him do four? this. I don't think I've ever heard him do this, like, since then. Did, did four kids oh, ever have a hand... Did four kids ever have a turn at dubbing Dragon Ball before? I think uh, they did Kai, but that's about it. And I, I think, think nice. If you do this right, you can skip this entire battle sequence. Ooh. I do like th- I do like that in some of these levels. If you can platform well enough, you can skip full on battle sequences. And Thank goodness. Carefully. Yeah, just up. Uh, yeah. Or there. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was close. Now we can just go across the dragon's back. Uh, the and the only thing that can maybe make me think of uh really. Come try on. jumping around it. Oh no, that didn't work. Yeah, well, it was worth a shot. We're on fire. We're on fire. Oh, God, oh, on the fire. way he runs. So we'll be taking well, small damage. Just look at the way we run. By the way, well, actually, now that, now that I think about it, fire fire damage in this game really does suck because not only, well, do you take take little bits of damage here or there, but Sonic is more or less incapacitated. Like, he can't attack while he's on fire. Oh, so I gotta find some water. Oh. Things. Jeez. Precision. Oh, gosh. This is very... Platforming. Ah! <laughs> So I can still, so I can Ow. still say I'd like, I like the werehog. Here's some water. So I can still say I, <laughs> nope. I, Not I like that, Logan. I jump with the. Here's some water. <sighs> no, which is worse? Okay, here, okay. Here is some shallow water. I can cool off in the shallow water. There. Oh. So I'm gonna go this way first because there's actually a secret back here. If you go here. Oh first. man. Be careful. We're not, we're not special anymore. There's a sun metal here. And if I grab this dude, this is me kind of between two different takes, by the way. Hiya! Oh, I it don't think it dropped worked. too early. But yeah, if, oh, well. if, they, they they did a pretty good job with the physics. If if you drop them onto water, literally anything else touching that water will take damage. Also, shit, I just realized. I think this is the level that introduces us to the mages, which can be either attack, which can either wow, he he literally just yeah. Also, this uh, shows off. There's friendly fire in this game on the uh, dark Gaia side. I mean, hey, make, make the most of it while you can, man. So, yeah, the purple ones, I believe, will heal. The red ones will uh, give damage buffs to anything near them. Mm-hmm. There's also, like, fiery red ones and electric green ones. We don't talk about the fiery red ones until later. I, I really don't care for those ones. I could be wrong, but isn't there also a type of mage that actually saps your rings away? Uh, I haven't seen that actually, one. Actually, I, I thought that was in I thought that was in I do know Heroes does. You know, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The, oh, yeah. That's right. That's the one where if you do the, uh, that's if you do the tornado attack. That's if you do the tornado attack on the uh, healing ones, they flip upside down and become the purple ones. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, 
I don't remember the blue mages being that much trouble. The the uh, the, the the pink ones are honestly the worst, just because again they can heal the other of uh, their teammates. Right. Okay. And finally, before and I when there's like screen. more than one of them on screen at once, yeah, mm -hmm. not a fun time. Nope. Uh, where's the medallion? Here it is. And I died here, so I'm gonna just. Oh, got you. Wow, I missed a lot of sun medals. Darn. Well, hey, it, well, may as well get the mo get it out of the way. Oh, there we go. There and we go. level complete. So, with that said, nice. With that said, join us in the next part as we're going to be we're going to finally reach the local temple here in Chunan. Hopefully, find the elder and that sacred relic and whatever the heck's going on around here. But first, let's give a, let's give them a, let's give a good old wear hog a wear clap. I don't. I, I also never understood. Okay, I never also never understood the point of leveling up speed. Shooting star combo, yay! And give me some shield. All right. So with that said, join us in the next part. We're gonna do more of our normal missions. More fun stuff's gonna happen. though. more story. Yeah. Till next time, everybody. And hopefully, we'll talk about whales. Okay.